It's day four of 100 days of code and your challenge will be a little bit of fun because we've all seen those companies that charge a fortune to your grandma for a customized storybook where you go and meet Santa. Now, everyone loves getting those, but the people that really love it are the companies that charge a mint to your grandma to sell it to them. You're gonna build your own. You're gonna build a program that asks for a bunch of key facts about the user and weaves it together in a custom story that will be just about that person. Regardless, you're going to build a custom story for your users. Couple of little hints though, maybe don't ask hundreds of facts up front. Do a few, output a paragraph, and then ask for a few more. That way, you can make the story more interesting and more engaging and have the user doing less work to get the results more quickly. Don't forget to publish your repliless time. Click that publish button and follow the steps to get it shared with the community and get some real feedback. Don't forget to include the hashtag replit 100 days of code if you're posting it on social media. Have, have they gone? Right, brilliant. You've made it to the end where I've got a sneaky extra skill for you. Whilst everyone that didn't stick to the end of the video are printing everything out in just plain white text on a black background, we're gonna add color. Yes, we're getting up to the technological level of a computer from 1981, woohoo! Now it works a bit weirdly because what we're actually doing is we're printing out a command code that tells the computer to change the color of the text that follows to a different color. That means we need to be clever about where we put it because if we turn on red text, for instance, everything we print from that point forward will be red. So if we only want one word in red, we need to print out the code to turn red on, print out the words, and then print out the code to turn red off. Let's give that a go. In this example, I'm warning my user for being a little bit naughty. And what I've done is turned on a red color, printed out the word warning, and then turn the default color back on. Now, all you need to do is make sure you copy that code and change the number from the table for the color you actually want. In this example, I've concatenated it all together just so it's easier to read for me, but you could stick it all in one text box as if it's one complete thing if you wanted. And there you go. You're getting the color you want, which means your story can have a bit more excitement to it now. Maybe you could even have something like this. Whoa, using my superpower, which in a different color, we'll now know that in my story, I'm gonna be a champion. Why not use color to add extra spice to your authorial masterpiece? You've completed your first project. You should be rightly proud. Next time, we're gonna look at an if statement and how to get the program to do something different based on what the user has typed in.